Hi hey folks, Jen or Morgan here tonight taking a look at the Free Perfection Reactor Atomizer Tank. From I got this from inhaler.com. I don't know if other people are going to be carrying it. It comes with one atomizer. It's all one tank unit with most of the drip tip built in, although you can add more. Um, let me show it just next to a standard map dual cartomizer tank and you can see it's quite smaller and it is definitely when you vape it an atomizer and not a cardomizer let's see what you get with it and how to put it together so let's take a look at what comes with our vaporfection reactor atomizer tank um, it comes in the bag. I have the satin stainless steel 1.5 ohm 510 atomizer inside. Pretty much just comes in that baggie, and it also comes. I also ordered an extra atomizer pre dotted. Two very little holes on either side. It also comes with those five little cardo caps that we'll look at in a minute. So, tank, standard o ring sort of bottom and top caps we've seen with cardomizer tanks. Um, and one hole on either side. Now these little, uh, you can stick just a regular drip top, drip tip in the top of the reactor tank if you want to get your mouth, like I usually do, a little further away from the hot coil. Or you can just uh, take one of these little colored, it's like cardamizer caps, and stick them in the mouthpiece. Give it your little signature color there. I'll pick orange. Yay! Now, all that remains is to uh, fill the... Now, each of the top and the bottom caps, the top cap has the mouthpiece built in. They both have the O-rings on the inside to get a grip around the atomizer itself, like we see with the cardo tanks. And we'll go ahead and fill this and leave enough room to get the top cap back on. Now, in his video, Mr. Drew from Inhaler suggests putting it just so the O-rings at the top there, right at the edge of the tube, and then sort of turning it more upside down than not to pop that top cap on, just to keep it from shoving too much juice into the atomizer. Now, I sort of have a little bit of the atomizer sticking out. It came flush. The problem with it flush was I couldn't get good airflow and that pin was very low in the connector so I actually had to get out my handy little tool and very carefully kind of pull that positive connector up a little bit so that it would touch and actually connect and fire on some of my mods. So you just very gently go around the edge and pull that center post, positive post, down a little bit. And that made it work on some mods that it wasn't working on before. But with it flush, there's with the atomizer flush to the cartridge, you see I have a little bit extra hanging out. Um, th there's only those little air, very low slots on either side. So when I would attach it to like a mod like the Precise here, it was making such a tight seal that air wasn't really getting to the atomizer. The other thing is the hole, if the atomizer is flush to the bottom, is very high up in the tank. So what happens then when there's not a lot of juice in the tank? While it never gave me a dry hit, that was sort of a concern and they seemed drier towards the second half of the tank. Um, but regardless, it makes a nice little attachment to your mod. And lots of vapor. So that's a close-up of the reactor tank. It actually worked a little better than I expected it to. I have not had Dratty, and you all know how I hate Dratty. However, I'm kind of a chronic overdripper, and, and I have a tendency to make my Addies gurgle. <coughs> a lot. <laughs> like, you know, any one of my bottom feeders that I pick up is going to gurgle. I like my atomizers are really wet. So while I'm not getting dratty, I'm not getting that completely, this atomizer is super saturated kind of pull either. Um, it's warm, so you're getting 
You can just, it's definitely an atomizer and not a cardamizer tank. You can tell the difference. So for people who don't like cardamizers, this may be the way to go for you. It doesn't hold a lot of juice for me. Um, I have it sitting up a little higher like I showed in the video because otherwise the holes in the pre-dotted cardo are like halfway up the tank. But that doesn't really help you when the juice is getting a little lower. However, even when it was getting lower, I didn't get dratty. Now, you know, part of my problem is the only atomizers I use come from either Cisco at Avid Vapor or uh, Eichen Vape. So I tend to get the more expensive atomizers. I don't think this is it. I know that Drew said in his video that he could only get it to work. He's tried a whole bunch of different atomizers and these were the ones that worked best. They're not Cisco. You know, they're probably Chinese atomizers. So, you know, take that into consideration. But, no dratty. Now, you know, when you start out, when you first get it put together, I, I took a couple of pulls without activating the device, so just regular empty dry pulls. Um, that will force it to suck some juice into the atomizer itself. Now, that being said, this works just like a cardo tank in that you have to have the punched atomizer. Now, I haven't had to try, I haven't tried to punch my own. I've only used the two that I got with it, so that would be a completely other experiment. Um, the thing with the dual cardo tanks is because I'm hole punching them myself, I know how my juice works, and I have some juices that only need one hole, uh, and some that need two holes, and some need the bigger hole, and some need really tiny holes. Um, I've tried this with 70, V 70 PG 30 VG. Um, I've tried it with 50 50, and I just put my own uh, DIY in here, which is pretty much almost entirely VG. I think the actual um, the actual Nick juice itself is 50 50, but everything else I put in it is VG. Um, and it works pretty well. I mean, I haven't had dratty. Then again, I'm not really getting the flavor and stuff that I get off of just a plain old clear atomizer on a bottom feeder or anything else. Way more flavor. Um, I wish it held more juice, although this with a couple other devices did last me most of the day. Um, the 1.5 ohm atomizer is working great on just the 18500. Um, non-IMR battery, actually. And it's not dratty, but it almost feels slightly dry. Like, it's it's like that, that hit or two before dratty. You know, like when you're supposed to put more juice in to avoid dratty. It's like the hit just before that. So, for me, it's not wet enough. Um, but if you definitely want to try a tank and you're not okay with cardamizers um, and you don't over drip constantly and gurgle like I do, um, it may appeal to you. It's certainly um, nice to see as a, a move in the industry to go towards atomizer tanks rather than cardamizers and hopefully this is just the first of uh, what's coming. Anyway, that's my two cents.